Welcome back. Oh no. Hey. We are live. Not really. We're kind of recording this, but we are. We could just try to say hello on. and hey at the same time. Like, you can hey. say whatever you want. It's <laughs> our podcast. Uh, welcome back to the Abs Fitness Experience. We are here with William Acosta today, my client. He has the privilege to train with me, unfortunately. Lucky mm-hmm. me. So oh, we'll kind of go yeah. into details yeah. about <laughs> that, about his training experience, uh, what he does for work. He's a realtor. Um, he's currently trying to help us find a property right now, which we're trying to get together sooner than later. Uh, within the next few months here. More information on it once we find it. Let's not get yes. Pretty much. Yes. Uh, if you're looking for personal training, hit us up at Abs Fitness, uh, trainer.com. That's it. <laughs> Other than that, we're going to go into your training experience first, I think we should go into. Absolutely. So how has it been so far? Intense. Intense. <laughs> <laughs> Is it um, no, what no, you expected? So, you know, I think going into it, I think the results are what I had hoped for. Yeah. Um, but I don't. I can't say that necessarily that it was what I expected because I didn't know what to expect. You know, I just knew I was going to have to get up every day and, and you know three times a week and come in here and get my butt kicked and then yeah. hopefully I can get up the next day because I'm not in that much pain okay. and and just keep going. Good. But I mean, it has. It has. It, 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 How much are you down? Um, as of this morning, I'm down 57 pounds. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. With no goal in mind uh, no goal, when you first came. No goal. In, no. From it, what I remember. Really, the goal was just to get out there and just. Be a, be a better version of myself. That's mm-hmm. all I want. That's all I wanted to do. So it was like, you know, the do weight you feel loss. Feel better. Oh my now. god. Oh my god. My my confidence. My 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 physically yes. Okay. Mentally yes. Okay. You know, because it, it, it all kind of goes hand in hand. Yep. You know, mm-hmm. I think physically I'm I'm I have way more stamina to just to even like do things. I don't get out of breath anymore. Remember when I first started training, I, I couldn't breathe. I remember <laughs> first session. Yep. So death on the turf. Yes, yes. Just about. yes. So here's an interesting question. How do you think and and just be honest about like how you think it's changed like you coming as an individual in a relationship and mm-hmm. just your relationship dynamic in general just because I think there's a lot of t- a lot of times what thing what people are afraid of. Wow, I can't speak today. <laughs> um, is how it's going to change the relationship or how it's going to change them in a relationship. Well, you know, I think that's actually a very good question. I think when I started this you know, there was a lot of hesitation. Like my husband would be like, "You're not going to go through with this," because I've never been one to go through with anything. I mean, but it's I do true, remember right? you saying that. And and it was almost like I had to prove him wrong. Yeah. But also do it for myself. That's what I'm talking about. Through that, you know, he's realized and he sees that you know how much more happier I am. Right. I mean, yeah. we coming. You know, when I come here, I have that that hour of just me. I focus on me, and that means that now when I go home, I can focus on him. Right. And we yeah. can focus on things together. You know, and I think once you put yourself in check and you get yourself together, then everything else just kind of goes and, and kind of comes together. I mean, we're definitely a stronger couple now. Yeah. And I think he's enjoying the fact, you know, the benefits of me losing the weight mm-hmm. and me being stronger because, yeah. you know, now he doesn't lift anything in the house. He's like, can you get that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he takes full advantage. How does your confidence uh-huh. bring um, new benefits to the relationship? Um, well, I think I think just... The fact, like, like today, you know, I'm, I'm getting myself dressed, and you know, before yeah. I would leave the house, he was like, "Where are you going?" It's like I have to go, you know, go wherever. He's like, "You look like a person at Walmart." Woo! <laughs> Those are harsh I mean, words yeah, right I, there, boy. Uh-oh. I, I, you know, I, I never really cared, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. and and now I do. Now you're all dappered up. I, I, I mean, dude, you make. You, I told you, you make us look all bad right now. I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah. My workouts, dude's crushing. Like, I care. I care yeah. about what I look like, you know, and yeah. I think that it's just you know he sees that. And he if you can see so... those buttons on that shirt, they're unbuttoned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably more than they were before you met him. Oh, listen, before they'd be up here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was church lady. And he's yeah. got tats now too. Yes, 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 right. yes. Yeah. Angry yeah. elephant. Shout out. Yeah. To this. This really. Shop down the sh- oh yeah. Down the hall. Right there. So, with that being said, because I think. Let me go back to what you said. You said that uh, it's it's brought you know much strength to your relationship and me yeah. time. That's what you were saying, me yeah. time. So how did you think before you were finding me time that maybe has now this me time, like you said, has given you more time for him? Like, did you find yourself negatively finding me time, or maybe like yes, yeah? yes, before okay. yeah. I mean, I only because I think it would really start, help people listening. I think when you when before you start any kind of journey, right? You know, you're and you're kind of just like walking through life you're yeah. you're you're just there yeah. you know there's yeah. no purpose floating there's no, through right? you're just floating you're just there yeah I, I get it so coming here and doing this for myself i found purpose yep and with that purpose it then makes me happier then right? you found so, justin as well <laughs> which is sometimes a nightmare for some clients 
questions. And yeah. you might be one of them. No, no, no. I mean, it's just as but long as it's not it, loud. Was it what you were expecting? Because I know you said the other day that I am very loud, which you, I am. I get right. really hyped for my clients. Yeah, we, we talked about this. Like, I mean, your your personality is not typically one I would have ever been associated with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You told me this the other day. I, I was the dying. Same thing I was when like, I met Ooh, him. we gotta talk. We gotta talk about this. Because on the pod, I'm, for I'm, sure. a, I'm a very zen person, right? Yeah. I mean, I like yeah. even, even my house. I have like smooth jazz playing in the background. Yeah. My dog's yeah. chilling out by the water fountain. We're just like listening to the water roll. <laughs> That's my that's my life, you know. And then, so then you come here and it's like It's an eruption, so you walk through <laughs> the door. If you're my it. client specifically, I usually yeah. scream across the gym. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. Holler at your boy. But you know what? It gets you going. Like you know, <laughs> it as, it as loud as it is, and you know, and I always joke about it, it does, it gets you moving. Like it, yeah. it really it makes you like you're here. You like that puts me present right, right in that moment, For which sure. I love. It's like uh, it's like training dogs. Like Ali would know. Like it's like you blow that whistle, right? They're like, oh shit, we gotta go. So I say like, let's go, motherfucker, and you're like, boom, yeah. fuck, I gotta go, I gotta do this. Yeah. That's my training tactic. I use Man. pretty harsh language. I'm not gonna let we talk about this heavily, him and I. That training style <laughs> would not work well with the women women clients. Yeah. And so I have <laughs> one woman client right now, pretty much. No, yeah, yeah. And I think but. that it, males can get away training females that way. But if a female yeah. trained another female that way and my energy presence came like that, like, oh, it's not the same. Like, no. Okay, I'm out. Yeah, you it's know, definitely it, not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. It's a different presence that we all bring to the gym mm-hmm. and yeah. each and one of yeah. each But the females that I have trained, I'm sure they have enjoyed. <laughs> Nobody's saying that they wouldn't. I'm just saying yeah. it would but come differently unique. coming from yeah. me, and I don't yeah. think I can pull it off. I guess is what I'm yeah. saying with females. Well, I think we, even now what, seeing like all the dynamics between you know Ollie, Phil, you know, you, yeah. and the two of you, it's like it, it, it's it's so <laughs> different. You like you know just yeah. even even the approach, the, the 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 tone that you speak to your clients in, it's yeah. also di- I'm like. I just mm-hmm. watch. I find a comment. He's like, man, can I go over there and get some mm-hmm. nice treatment for it's a little bit? <laughs> I'm over here just like, well, let's go. You know, the thing oh, is, yeah. I do try to adapt to different clients. So, like, you know, some clients, the things that I might say to one client, because if they're a little bit more sarcastic mm-hmm. and, and they're a little more dark, morbid humor, I might, like, try to come at them yeah. in a way. You know, if they ask me for accountability talks, my accountability talk with that person might be a little more harsh yeah. and yeah. has a little more sarcastic funny humorous humorous tone versus somebody who's a little more sensitive it would be a lot different right so i try to match their energy and i try to very much still bring me to the table with that um because i can be soft if you get to know me on a more deeper level um but most of the time i'm pretty she's a softie don't let her fool you (laughs) don't let her harshness but yeah i don't think i think you i think your style of training for me it's it works, you yeah. know. I mean, I actually hear you in my head sometimes, so you, and, and I'm saying things that you say to me, and I'm like, "At Don't home, be a bitch. Yes. at home, at the store." Yes. Yes. And all my clients yeah. actually have told me this—not all of them, but a lot of them—that are utilizing my tech. It's like I have a pocket just inside. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sorry for any of the significant others that have to deal with this, because I actually have another couple that I train. I train both of them, and one will come in, and he's like, "He's he's fucking saying it." Big dog, let's go at home. And he's like, I can't take it anymore. And then he comes in, so he gets this repeat uh-huh. thing, but it, it helps him, it seems like, at home as well. But it does. So it does. I'm glad so, I can bring know, myself. No, you know, I mean, this is, this, is more, this is so much more than a personal journey. It's, you yeah. know, it, and it's, it's not physical, it's so much more than a physical journey, right? It's, yeah, it's an emotional sure. journey. It's, you know, it's a well, it's just an overall well being journey. It's mental right? for sure. Oh, 100%. Like, for instance, sometimes when you're in here, you're like, I can't do a weight. I'm like, yes, you fucking are. Yeah, you're going to do it. Do so, that. And then you do it. But it's mental because it's in your head. Yes. But if you don't have the confidence to do it, you're never going to lift well, it. Yeah. And that's Speaking what of we're here for. this journey, you know, Justin and I got my family on a journey. And we have a group text. Oh, and it's funny because the let's go thing The gains says, thread. Now he's got my <laughs> twin brothers there sending is. bro selfies of the one in the background taking the piss selfie of the other one doing a squat. And they're bro And he's like, let's sure. go. We started some some uh, some nonsense for sure. We oh, have yeah. the parents, the bros, the sister. Well, the sister was already up you know, on her shit for sure. You started somewhere. I mean, this is... Yeah. People just yeah. need. Pe- I think people just need that push. The hype train. Right? Oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. It was funny. What do you think my about sister... being hype, Ali? You got to get hype for that fight, dude. Yeah. yeah. And you did that yeah. like you had a team, but like, I feel like you did a lot of it alone. 
No, yeah. Uh, fighting is an incredibly individual sport, but at the same time, a lot of people don't realize how much teamwork actually is involved. So, like, having a core support people or a core support group as well as just the structure necessary to, to sharpen yourself. Um, there's a saying that my coach says all the time, and it's iron sharpens iron. Very true. Yeah. Um, yes. You need to have people that are, like, willing to fuck you up as well as, you know, yeah, yeah. you need yeah, to be yeah, willing sure. to fuck them up as well in practice specifically. Yeah. So that way, you know, training is harder than the actual fight. And then by the time I got to the fight, it was easy because I had a team. Um, yeah. And one of the things that you may not have realized is that I did have the ability to rely on, you know, like my coaches, um, two coaches specifically, Jill and Dato in the background, yeah. yelling out like basically. Oh, yeah. And it was basically if you've ever, if you've ever seen the, the movie Real Real. Real steel with Hugh Jackman Ooh, where they yeah, like give Jackman commands to the robot uh-huh. that's what it felt like because okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're like go do this and you're like all right yeah bam, they call that like double kick bam, cool. bam, and, uh, the- yeah. and you did it because yeah. I, I did see that and the double kick worked really well yeah mm-hmm. that shit was dope yeah that's when you really fucked him up <laughs> and then there was a small <laughs> chant after the fight provided by what no that was before after I'm two. talking about after. That's both. Oh, after. Well, we did both. I did a lot of shit oh. talking too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love screaming. That I will never right. fight ever. Oh my god. But I can talk a lot of shit. His mom was like today on the end of our aisle, and I was like, he's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the whole arena was embarrassed for us. Really? So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry to the uh, wherever the fuck we were. Some hotel in Orlando. That's a month thing. It's all good. And sorry to your fight teams. <laughs> Grab some deal with Abs Fitness Squad. He's like, by the way, oh, those they were for they you. were happy. <laughs> <laughs> but so I feel like we covered a good amount of working out yeah. your journey so far. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your realtor journey because mm. it's been a long yeah. time since you have been a realtor, correct? Yeah, and uh, you know, it, interesting enough, I think that since we since I started coming here and really focusing on myself, that side, my my professional side, has really Exploded. taken off as well. Oh my god, That's yeah. What I'm talking about we um, sales are on point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> highest what so was this I, I remember you saying maybe this so, is the highest yeah, so this grossing is, year yeah um, I just got my 1099 um, on Friday uh oh Who? yeah I gotta pay tax man tax. baby yes. Ooh, yes. Yeah. 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 if you haven't done it so, no. file them now yeah. I know I'm thinking about that that <laughs> yeah, nice bill take care of our as well but it was, I rent in, um, I'm in one of the largest brokerages in Hillsborough County, um, okay. Keller Williams brokerages. We have 340 agents. I ranked number 25 out of Oh my, 25 out of 340, wow. 340, 25 out of 340, yep. 25 out of 340. And That's really fucking good. I pushed 7.3 million this year. Holy wow. Yeah. Upgrading the membership ads. So, <laughs> and before that, you know, when it, before I came here. I would say I was probably like number like 75. Like, you know, very yeah. kind of like, you know. That's a like huge jump. Wait, I want to say that again. Before 75 out of 340, yeah. starting his fitness journey, losing this weight, gaining more confidence. And that's it. Confidence. That, that's the yeah, word. Yes, that went from sure. 75 out of 340 to 25 out of 340. That's an immense jump. Yeah. People. That's because he's got gains on deck. His well, people don't realize that, you know, real estate, just like, I mean, your your business is appearance as well, right? Yeah. So, right. I mean, you're constantly working out, you know, you have to you have to look what you're what you're training, Yeah. right? No yeah. one wants an overweight, well, fat trainer, I'm just being honest. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. but in real estate, yeah. it, is, it is all about your appearance. Yeah, it's course. about how you dress, how you handle yourself, how you carry yourself, and when you have the confidence to... And you feel good about okay, yourself, dude. Crush it. it comes through. Yeah. And it has been, it really has been an amazing, like just this yeah. last year, I was just, just sitting down talking about it the other night. I was like, I, I know my success I've had this year has, is directly from doing, coming, going on this fitness journey. Yeah. Let's go. For sure. Yeah. Dude, that's so fucking That's cool, awesome. Well, I feel you- like it definitely <laughs> helps though with sales in general. Um, yeah. Yeah. Even just like before this podcast, um, we worked out, I'm fucking amped up. Right. I'm ready to go. I'm pumped. At least I look good. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> hopefully. Cameras let me know. But it does make a huge difference and the confidence is definitely a lot higher in our industry. Like if you look the part, it's way easier to sell to someone because you can just be like, I know what I'm doing. Right. Mm-hmm. Other than like having to convince them. Now, you don't really have to, like, yeah, you have to convince them to buy houses and shit, but I think even just, like, smelling better can definitely affect your sales. Oh, yeah, yeah, smelling like, no bad. No smelly fucking salesman. <laughs> well, thank goodness that yeah. was one thing I never had to worry about with me. I mean, I work yeah. for long coming into the gym, so, yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah, you do. You definitely are one of the best. <laughs> How do we there get you from go. confidence to smelling but, good? Because it yeah. all has to do well, yeah, there's with appearance whole and how you hold yourself. And I don't necessarily have to, like, you know, convince someone to buy a house, but I do have to draw the clients right i do yeah. have to draw draw the buyers and sellers and you know 
And you, you gotta show to up, right. and you have to have energy because right. they're not gonna be like, oh, exactly. this guy's boring as fuck. I'm not gonna go. And it's not just today. physically showing up, right? You have to show up. You have to be present for yeah. them all the time, and you have to be ready for them. What are and some good tips for any like new starting realtors, right? That would to go above and beyond because I know you probably do for your clients. I'd say you know find your one niche and stay in it, right? Yep. So mine, I've I've always been right. in service. I've been in customer service my entire career. Cool. So my clients get top-notch service, hands oh, down. Yeah. Um, my phone is with me 24 hours a day, and if I take you on as a client, you have direct access to me. What's that phone number? 813-760-7812. Shout but, out, plug. But right. I think realtors have a bad name because we don't answer our phones, and that's yeah. why you know that's the one thing I know. I've won business just because I'm answering my phone. Yeah, 100%, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of even just like service industries, like if I call them, they don't answer, like I will call the next person. Yeah. And if they answer, I'm probably gonna Absolutely. go with them first. So Absolutely. people answer your phones. If, yes. you're, if you're into sales, like so, realtor market, anything, answer dude, your phones. every call could be a sale. Yep. Yeah. And any person you know can also be a sale as well, Absolutely. right? Like especially in your market, Absolutely. in our market too. I mean, listen, professional athletes need training, mm -hmm. just like a rich person needs a new house. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? <clears throat> so there is plenty of uh, sales out there. For Absolutely. All what is um? Industries. Do you think that being super honest and like if a property you know, even if you, cause like this, this happens in sales game. And I think that if you're somebody who's more worried about sales than you are about what's, you know, honesty and being honest with someone, even if that means that it may disappoint them. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that's super important? Like absolutely with houses, like you might think this might be not the right fit, but you're like, you know, like, Hey, like, so my job is to make sure my job is to protect my clients. Um, not only protect them, but protect their money and their yeah. investment. Right. That is, that is key. Um, I'd never sugarcoat anything. I'm gonna give you the, yeah. the good, bad, and ugly. Yeah. Um, it is your essentially your decision, but I'm gonna give. I'm gonna just lay it out for you. Yeah. Right. Um, and sometimes I, I will come out and say this is probably not the right one for you. Yeah. You know, I, I don't ever want. I don't ever want to put anybody in a position to be, you know, house poor. Hundred um, percent. Or yeah. know that they are truly making the wrong decision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And I mean, even when we when we went out and we were looking at some properties, right? You know, for the rental, and mm -hmm. you know, like the one, I like, I, I I'm looking at the area, and like, I don't feel good about this area. Like, like, I can't no, see your no. girlfriend walking there. Like, you know, just I, I, I think about this, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I have to. <clears throat> yeah, because no, that yeah. makes sense. Though. We that have to be honest sense. in this yeah. industry, and I was telling Justin, and actually, I was been telling Alejandra recently that sometimes people don't particularly like, and it's so funny because if it comes from the males, it's fine. Mm -hmm. If it comes from me. They're dun, offended. Dun, dun. And it's like, you know, I have a very bold, assertive, straightforward, no sugar coat, no bullshit type of attitude yeah. and, and personality. And it's like, you know, sometimes it requires me to, if somebody's like not making progress or at all, or they're plateaued, to give you the honesty you don't want to hear sometimes. So yeah. I wondered if that was something that, you know, you also treasure and, and yeah. you know, really hold close to your heart is that, yeah. listen, even if it bothers you, I'm going to say it because at the end of the day, and I've told Justin this plenty of times, I don't care if they end up writing a rap, bad review and making up lies about me because they're really hurt underneath liar, about what liar. I said, which has happened before. Because at the end of the day, you may leave and think that seed I planted, you may think about that. Sure. Right? Absolutely. And it may change your mind later on when you're in a different mindset. Right? And you may lose a client if they don't like you because you said, no, I don't really think this is the best, the best investment for you. Right? They may end up coming back. Yeah. After they realize you know, they've luckily, made a mistake. Yeah, luckily, I've never, I've never lost a client because of that. I've always, um, if anything, I, I don't advertise. Yep. Yeah. So this, you know, word of mouth. I'm only word of mouth. Offenders. Right? Yep. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. yeah. I have, I have a, a client now. I was actually on the phone with him on the way over here. Uh -huh. He is, uh, <laughs> he is, uh, got him here. He was part of the Roush racing team in NASCAR. Oh, let's go, baby. He was an MMA fighter in Japan. Dude, he's got uh, hookups all over. Right, and then Why so is he now, signing up here? Now he's at, <laughs> well, now he works for Universal. He's a he's a fabricator. So oh, he this is the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And okay. He's like, like, I I think I've bought and sold. I think this is house number four in a matter of yeah. three years, and um, he's amazing. like just. And he's always gonna call you because he knows absolutely. you're honest. You're gonna be fucking up yeah. front. You're not gonna bullshit. And I got him here as a rental. Exactly. Because he was just trying to get get out of state. You know. Okay. I mean, and but he's like my biggest fan. You know, you yeah. have influencers in your business, mm -hmm. you know, sure. and he is like my, my one of my biggest it. influencers. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. I mean, honesty is super important in your mm -hmm. industry, even if you yeah. think that the person might not hear it the way that you want yeah. it to be heard. Sometimes that's going to happen. And sometimes clients aren't always the right fit for us. Right. And, yeah. you know, yeah. and have you, honesty have you guys is important. Had let, let, let clients go because of that. Um, yes yeah. and no. Yeah. Like we definitely have had clients that we had to let go. Right. Yeah. And they have had to part ways. 
Close like I've told people yeah. before, yeah. we're not always the right fit, right? For mm. one. Um, and for two, it's not even so much about the right fit. It's about so much people being in the right mindset. You really have to yeah. be in the mindset of coming to here, not on the defense, but ready to listen to experts yeah. Yeah. and understand that we have expertise that we're trying to give and that we're here to help and not sabotage. And I, I get that, but the only thing, that that meal, that meal plan that you gave me, that was a little rough to swallow. Motherfucker, I'm not gonna, let's go, I baby. Like, but look at you lost 57 pounds. I did, I did. And you partially right. followed yeah. So I, you weren't even 100% on No, I did not. Which did will not. make that known, people. Yes, I will. I, I and this, is, this goes out to all the clients that are having trouble, right? Yes. This guy right here, he's partially mm. followed it. He still goes out to eat. He still does things. Right, but, but he, he is on fucking. But point. you make you make better choices, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And at the end of the day, it's I have not had fast food in yeah. since since I started coming here. I've not yep. had fast food. I love um, it. I have not had anything fried. Yep. Maybe a chicken wing. I like my chicken wing. Sorry, right. extra well, crispy. You oh, can you still fit it in you every once two. in a while, and your portion you control. Two, right, portion control yep. is huge. Right. You know, and I do a lot of proteins, a lot of water, you know. Water, so, water, water, right. and a lot of sauce. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, think with sauce nutrition, is, yes. I think with the nutrition, people are always looking for the magic formula, the magic meal plan. Nine. There's no magic meal plan. There's no magic formula. All diets work. I've told people this. I'm not a guru. I make custom meal plans. I have my formula, the way I do things. That mm. doesn't mean that I'm saying like, hey, you know, if you want to 80, 20 my meal plan, awesome, because you're still going to see results. Right. He is a testament. Right. Yeah. You know, but the truth is, it's not that it's... A about discipline it's about mindset so if you aren't in the right place here you're yeah, you, not going to be you able have to be ready do Absolutely. that meal plan 10 yeah. percent right and your partner at home has to be ready too if they're not on this journey yep. right they have to be on board <laughs> yeah. or they will influence you in the bad way like, actually they're gonna drag the, you out to eat and yeah shit. well and on the flip side of that my poor husband he's, <laughs> he's lost weight he's lost almost 25 pounds god bless his because, soul because i don't cook like the way i used to that's right baby you right, know? Right. i would always make these big meals yeah. and, like heavy in calories and just like like no fried your foods, ribs. not that bullshit. So now it's like grilled chicken breast. Yep. Maybe it will grill a pork chop. We split a chicken breast usually. And, and now he asks up. though for like that good meal every once in a while. Uh, only one time. See? He only uh, wow. That's what I'm saying. So, so you've changed not only him. can you influence yourself here, right? You right. can influence yep. your partner at home. Without even actually influencing them. I was going to say, well, without even chance. actually yeah. influencing them. You're like, hey, you know, here's the thing. If you're yeah. the one cooking the meal, do they really have the right to dictate things? No. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what's being made. You can yeah. eat it or you can starve. But you've but, consistently been making changes. Yeah, and he absolutely. sees that and he automatically just follows, right? Yeah, You're the does. leader. He Follow does. the leader. And only yeah. one boom, person boom, boom. signed up here. So guess what? You can still get results <laughs> even yeah. if he's only passed, one of y'all signed dude, up. He's passed over good habits yeah. Yeah. that he's learned here, yeah. which yeah. everybody knows what a good habit is. Everybody yeah. knows what not to eat. But when you do have an encouraging team, because I believe when you walk in here, it is all of us oh, helping you. you. Know, and that's not just thing. me. I think that is the one thing I will say about abs fitness. And uh, it's... It may sound like a plug, but it's really it's really the yeah. way I feel. Yeah. Um, you know, you come in here, and one of the biggest hesitations was, you know, going to a gym. You expect to see a bunch of meatheads. And what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> bunch of Justins, whole bunch of them. Uh, they're everywhere. <laughs> a bunch of little Justins running everywhere. But, but and then you know, but when you and and everybody looks the same, right? Yeah. But when you, when I come in here, and when I first started coming in here, it was it was such a diverse environment yeah you know different sizes different shapes different ages sure. you know you got an alejandro I, I, yeah I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you got a from monkey bars. Right, right i've seen you know i've seen a number like yesterday the gentleman that came in you know i was here when he first started oh that's and right and you can see that yep. you know his his, his you see everybody journey, else's transformation right? i mean it really is amazing so it's yep. not you know i was glad that i did i i came and i i was right that it was i didn't have that that yep. It's like being part of a team, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. It and is. everybody totally, has a totally. similar path. Yeah. Not necessarily the same, but everybody's working in the right yeah. direction. I never felt insecure coming in. I never felt I insecure it. working out mm -hmm. with anybody here, which so is awesome. So yeah. one thing I will say as far as starting cool. this business, kind of where I took this idea from is like being that, and a lot of people who don't know this, re, you know, in telling it again, um, you know. Have you started it? I followed. We're, <laughs> we're uh, for the most part, I, I have to re-ask Ollie, but we're all sober in here. So I think eight, mm. Phil's going on his eighth yeah. year. From alcohol. Um, I'll have to double well, check. All three of here, us. But I think I'm Can't going on my seventh wrong. year. Justin no, I'm not. His, I'm going my seventh year. Justin going on his fourth year, and I believe yeah, he's four, sober. Doggy. I don't know. Um, but so with that being said, I've been, you know, how I got sober was going to AA. And so one thing about AA that works is that it's like everybody's in the right mindset. Yeah. And everybody's there yeah. to help each other. And you, and I told Justin, you sometimes you will literally see people that are still drunk there because they pulled somebody who, who had called uh, their sponsor, started crying. I'm, I went to this bar. I'm here. I should know I shouldn't be. Pulled them in, came and got them, you know, 
Mo- sure. you know, a few AA people went out, came and got them, bring them to the meeting. And so you're like with people that are in different stages of their journey. Yeah. Just like here, right? So I wanted that same vibe here. And there's why AA works is because it's a tribe of people in the like minded mindsets. Yeah. Same thing here, right? You're going to yeah. see people going through different waves of their journey. And I'm sure sometimes you even see people that maybe um, have been stagnant for a little bit there are people who have plateaus here you know working through those there's different stages of their journey and that's one thing that you get to see when you walk in here and that's what i wanted to create with creating this business yeah and it's definitely worked i mean i I know i I, I appreciate it you know and that's why i'm still here a year later and why i won't leave yeah baby it's the mindsets it's the tribe it's the people the tribe that you're with right and it's the comfort level too and it's how fucking clean we keep this place that is a true statement that is a true statement yeah so we clean the fuck out of this place every day after every client Mm -hmm. after every set so they do feel comfortable and we do too because we don't like stinky smelly equipment and we want it to last forever Mm -hmm. well Mm -hmm. you know and if, you guys, if someone could sponsor us and send us some shit, that'd be fucking <laughs> cool. Like some cool equipment, maybe. But can you run you know? it past me first? Because th- this new equipment that you're getting is killing me. It's killing me. <laughs> hey, that soul least, sucker. That's another, that soul sucker. Yeah. I guess, at least that's what you can say positive wise. Is we do try to like not all the equipment, but every, we try yeah. to some no, of the equipment. Some, run, you know, bring new stuff. We've in, upgraded since we started. Yeah. Listen, if you've been with us since day one, I appreciate you staying because we were in a fucking garage and you've stayed this long. God bless your soul. <laughs> we had power blocks. We had bullshit. Okay. And, and all I was there for it all. We have moved oh. up Except for the and garage. we've upgraded. <laughs> yeah. We have this nice gym now. We actually have a bathroom. Two bathrooms. <laughs> like it was oh. rough for a while. Oh yeah. Luckily, William, you didn't meet me at the 900 square foot because you probably want to stay. To be honest. Yeah. Not gonna lie. But we've upgraded the facility. We put money into the business and we've grown it. So that's what you do have to yeah. do, and no, you have I, to care about what you do. Oh no, absolutely. Otherwise, it's, it's, no one's gonna care about it. Yep. Right. Same thing in my business. So yeah. Speaking of your business, let's get off of working out. Let's talk about dream homes. Dream homes. Ollie, why don't you start? Or properties or castles, whatever you want. It doesn't have to be real. Dream castles. home, dream castle, dream property. Mine's going to be extreme. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Yeah. 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 We'll go all right, Ollie, then. what is what can, your What can I find for you? Same. I've, <laughs> like, all right, what can we buy for you, dog? I've already talked about this. This is like way off in the future, but I want like a full compound, like probably at least 30 acres of land. Wolves on the property. Wolves. Again, nice. this is dream yeah. property, guys. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter. A dream can come true. That's true. It can. Yeah. Absolutely. Know, maybe a log cabin with like you know some sniper towers and Sounds stuff like that. Sounds pretty fucking badass. Yeah. Thirty acres specifically. Yeah, at least. At least. Okay. Yeah. The wolves need a lot of room. Any toys on this property besides like a gun? Tons of guns. wolves. I mean, wolves are. Yeah, I mean, bad. sure. We'll have like an ATV to get from like <laughs> station to station right. to check on the wolves. It'll be like ran like a sanctuary. Nice. Um, you know, we'll have different employees that you know Luxury. are charged of like feeding and stuff like that. So it's like, like a wolf uh, sanctuary. Yeah. Okay. That I live inside of. And Sin can live with the wolves and not die. He'll probably be dead by then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sin. Sorry. Okay. Poor Sin. All, All right, right, so. so Abby, be a coat. Abby, be a coat. what is your dream property? Well. Well, you know, and ours are probably gonna differ heavily. <laughs> so I would like, you know, kind of like I don't know, like a Viking slash, you know, fairy cottage type piece of property. Fairy cottage, <laughs> Viking, fairy property. Viking cottage. Well, yeah. Vikings, whatever that means, people. You know, they use a lot of uh, wood for wood houses and stuff like that. Um, but you know, <laughs> yeah, wood. So I want to like, like a lot wood, of wood straw. I don't know, very like you know, cottagey like. Um, wooden door, right, type. Mm-hmm. Uh, but so that would be cool. But also have like, I don't know, some really cool like out of this world like structures on the property. So like, I don't know, like maybe like a copper pyramid. Yeah, maybe. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, think about this. All right, so. Seriously. Like, this an is immerse... part of our actual dream. Right. <laughs> it's, you may just laugh. I don't give a fuck. Laugh. Like an Airbnb. <laughs> laugh at me. Like, ar- <laughs> like kind of like mm-hmm. uh, simulated archaeological sites. Right, so it can't be the same size as obviously the pyramids. They have to be smaller. Scale right? down. Scale down. So, yeah. Walkable Whoa. size. Yes, walkable okay. size. You walk around it, but like a Stonehenge, mini Stonehenge, okay. or a mini Gobekli Tepe. Yeah. Maybe know. all. All right, my goal is to have like <laughs> enough property to have all this shit there, and well, I I'm can enjoy it. And maybe some other like, humans can too. I back. got this. I got this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you find one already prepared, let me know. Doubt it, but it, we we so, can dream, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. something like that. You know, like, Eiffel know, Tower, river, yeah. pond, stream. I don't yeah. know. For <laughs> I can see water. All right, so we get the gist. You're a Viking fairy goddess. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> William, how about you? What is your dream home? If not, if you already have uh, it or not, you know, you claim. You know, honestly, I mean, I, I see so many beautiful properties. I do. And, yeah. you know, the bigger doesn't always mean better. No. Um, well, location is key. Yeah. 
if I could, like, if I if I had a dream, I would say I would want multiple properties. Yeah. So you have a summer home, a winter home. Well, you kind of do have right. one of those, right? You can take it. Well, places. I have my RV, yes. Well, but that's I want to where, where I fly in. Oh, yeah, it is. I but fly, fly in. in. Fly in. <laughs> yeah. But you know, honestly, for me, my house, like, we if I. If I could take my house, my pool, and just and put it on, it and just put it on more land, yep. mm-hmm. that would be ideal for me. Because nice. my pool is eight and a half feet deep. You don't find that today, nice. right? Yeah, that's so, baller, dude. And I have. What, and you got a baller light in there too. I heard yeah, about. Yeah, and we have. <laughs> and, we have yeah, <laughs> and I have nine years left in my mortgage. Oh, perfect. It's Baller. almost done. Yeah, that, that, it's almost done. That is the dream. It'll be done. Yes. <clears throat> and then you just pay taxes on it, right? That's like it. Every year, Tax that's and it. insurance. I told my husband by the nice. time when he when he turns sixty, I will give him it's the deed to the house. Fuck yeah. That, that's my goal. That Dude, is my, that's that's my goal. Marriage goals. That people. is my marriage yeah. goal. Yeah. Marriage Give goals. them the deed. Here you go, yeah. bud. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Happy there New you year. go. Yeah. Cool. All right, my mm-hmm. dream property. What do you got? Uh, okay. Go. All right, it's going to be very extreme. <laughs> All right, so we have I would, a castle-like structure would be baller. Like Oh, I found one in Pennsylvania one time we almost bought. That's, mm. I'm not that's kidding you. We, we cool. almost bought. Like... Like torches on the top, like cool that's shit. That's sick. Right? I'm having that with you. Like okay. a drawbridge. <laughs> We're extreme. I'm Dance telling you. Come, you know, just screaming out from the little. Okay, tower. so this is that's I'm the structure. My wings. Hello, I'm up here. The structure will have some cool, maybe a podcast studio. Okay. Cool, right? yeah. All right. Uh, a full size gym inside, of course. Mm-hmm. And maybe that will be off to the side. Maybe we'll have this like. This sounds a, very Mr. Gray. Has anybody it's seen that? Fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> anyway, massive gym outside to the side. Okay. Partially indoor, partially outdoor. Okay. Oh, oh okay. yes. Small. That's a small detail. <laughs> Jungle wooden gym. I want a full size dirt bike track in the back. Okay. A Here's what's getting range. Nuts. No, this is dream. Can you okay. shoot on the dirt bikes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're talking a go kart oh track as well. Wow. Lordy! And possibly. A go track. No. Go kart track. A private jet slip. <laughs> what is wrong? Like, what do you think These are dreams. Private jets. <laughs> Where you can skydive. Which Where you fun. can skydive. <laughs> <laughs> These are dreams, people. I love adrenaline. <laughs> so that would be <laughs> ideal and maybe like a massive pool and a ball pit. Okay, so. And okay. a ball pit. <laughs> love it. Let's talk budget. <laughs> yeah, All right, right. So budget doesn't exist on this Your dream. Your ball pit's at Billions. McDonald's. Budget okay. doesn't exist. Okay. Budget doesn't exist. So. I love it. That's just a, uh, you know. I think, everybody has, I think everybody has a dream home or, you know. I would basically mm-hmm. live in the fantasy factory. If you guys know what it is. Yeah. You've never seen it. That's pretty much what I would want. Skateboard ramps and fucking dirt bike jumps everywhere. Oh. Now, that would be fucking cool. And maybe one of those Velcro walls. Oh, my God. Now, <laughs> if you can make me the hanging <laughs> gardens of Babylon on top oh, of that. that actually, be... so, correction, also a massive weed garden. <laughs> and all it. send off. Top it off. That's it. Indoor With and drugs. outdoor as well. As long as, you have, as long as you have a brownie bakery somewhere in there. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and the brownies just come right off the drop. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So I think on that note, we are done. I think that, right. that's a wrap, people. We'll let we, uh, William throw out his plugs. William, yeah, plug it. Plugs. Number, website. If you don't have any, we'll throw our number back out there and you can train with us at Ash Fitness. Absolutely. <laughs> if you're in the market, whether you're buying or selling or renting, property management, um, Give me a call, 813-760-7812, William oh. Acosta at KW.com. William yeah. Acosta is all one word. We'll get some cards for him here at the gym, too, if you're interested. Um, we'll have him leave them in the back. And remember, and this is a realtor that answers his phone. Yes. yes. So if you <laughs> call, he won't answer. If he doesn't, yes. I'm sure he'll reach back out unless sooner says, than later. Unless it says spammers. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> other yeah, than that, true. any other final words, people? Peace. That's it. Goodbye. No. We'll see you next week, fuckers. Doosh. <laughs>